What's up, you guys? Happy Friday afternoon, and welcome to the episode number 78 of the First and Ten NFL New York Jets podcast. How you doing today, brother? I What's am up? as pumped as pumped can be. It's it's Friday. It's it's football Friday. It's the weekend. It's Jets Packers. Let's go. Kevin, when 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 have we been highlighted? Wait, wait. Not- yes. <laughs> Channel 5, Fox 5 here on the East Coast is giving us the A team. The yeah, A-team the A team only yep. on game. I heard like over 80% of the country is getting the game. Wow. And if the season ended last week, we'd be in the playoffs. Yeah, the five spot, right? <laughs> Can we just end this season now and let's get the playoffs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open? We better. We better. Yeah, yeah, right? You know? Let's, oh, not, man. let's not get too excited. Let's bring it down. Just give me a second. Yep. yep. I mean, hey. I believe, right? You Kevin Burke and you Greg Olsen have been in the game. What's that? I believe uh, uh, Kevin Burkhardt and Greg Olson are calling the game on Sunday. I believe Sunday. so, yes. We got yes. the A team. Now we have to hope our team shows up. You want you want respect? Go win the game in Lambeau. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm still glad, even though there was a lot of Jet talk this week on all the shows, which is what I wanted, I'm still glad there are a lot of doubters out there. Keep doubting. Don't mm-hmm. don't believe in us. Don't have faith in us. You know, keep you know, mm-hmm. you know, picking against us. We like as Jet fans and as Jet, as all the Jet Nation knows, we like it. Keep sleeping on us. Keep you know picking the other teams. Bravo. Keep doing that. Mm-hmm. You know. Hey, Quincy Williams back. Is he? Yes. Very nice. I mean, he's he's questionable, but I I okay. heard that he's back. Excellent, excellent, nice. Uh, the only nice. thing I did hear was Jermaine Johnson is out for the game. Okay, the ankle, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. But I mean, hey, you want to be who you want to be? Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, you know who you claim you want to be and who you claim you are. The thing is, but before, before, all right, let, 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 let me finish this topic because you brought it up. You know how the Jet Mystique works, right? Of if course. We, if we win, if we win, it's going to be because we beat a Green Bay team that is not your team. Because it's always something. They, how many they had football? jet lag. They had yeah. jet lag from, yeah. from London. You know, you know. You know like. Even when we beat Miami, I had to, we had to hear, well, up until the third quarter, it was close. Oh, the third string quarterback kept it interesting, blah, blah. And then the Miami fans were crying that we beat the third string quarterback. But all, se- all preseason long, they were bragging how great their third string quarterback was. He's starting again this week, too, yeah, I heard. You know? You know, wah, 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 damned if you do, damn. If we were to lose these games, everyone would say, same old, we win, and it's an excuse. And I know if we beat Green Bay, there's going to be someone out there saying that, well, he doesn't have any receivers, blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever. Right. Play who's Listen, on your schedule. Who cares? Just go win the game. Who yeah, cares? Play who's on who your cares? schedule. Because at the end of, come the end of December, beginning of January, all that matters is the wins and the losses. It doesn't matter how you Agreed. did it. doesn't matter who you played. doesn't matter. Agree. Now, Ken, before we get deeper into this game, before we go, we talked about this topic last week. Did you watch that game last night? That was horrendous. <laughs> what are we doing? I is shut it off. I shut it off. I, I shut I, it off. I, you know, I finally passed out after the third quarter. It was horrendous. So let me ask you something. I could have I could have gotten a, a bunch of my drunk buddies on a Sunday and, and gotten a couple of cases of beer. We would have we would have scored better more in points. the street. I, I get it. I get it. And, and and then again, I'm gonna bring it up again. And I know some people out there tell us anyway. Thank you for always watching, like and subscribe. Um, is it? 
Is it the fact that these guys are just can't recover on, after a Sunday game in 72 hours to travel and play a Thursday night? Or does the NFL have to go back to saying, we wanted to feature all 32 teams on these Thursday, but we have to start featuring Listen, the best teams? It seems to be this year because – when we saw Thursday night games with the color rush uniforms and yeah. all that stuff and everything, there were those weren't bad games. The uniforms yeah. were horrendous, but the games yeah. weren't bad. So yeah. I don't know what changed. I I, I don't know. Now with, the NFL is going to have a chance to redeem themselves next Thursday with New Orleans versus Arizona. If mm -hmm. these two teams play like crap, Kevin, then that theory that I've come up with that the Thursday night game it's just too short of a time period for these guys to recover because what we saw the if you're Amazon you got if you're the president of Amazon you gotta be saying yourself the NFL this is wanted, what I, this is what I paid for yeah no let direct TV keep the package I don't even want the Sunday anymore because wow. listen the fans and the Amazon Prime people and the people who picked up Prime to watch these games yeah, are watching yeah. this stuff saying this is what I paid for yeah this is out of BS. This is, I mean, these last two that was, nights. That was, that was horrendous. Yeah. I keep saying two nights. These last two weeks, the games were. So let's hope Let's hope next week with Arizona and New Orleans, it's a better game. But yep. if yep. it's not, Kevin, because we both think that New Orleans and Arizona are better teams than what we've been seeing. Like, they're not the bottom of the barrel. This game should be a lot better. And if it's not, it just goes to show you that these guys just – aren't ready after three days rest yeah you know? yeah you're right you're you know? right uh, yep we'll cross that got... bridge when it comes to it comes to that but for now we got the jets on a two-game winning streak going for three baby going going for three. The three Pete. would you love to be a fly on the wall in the lafleur household with little brother going up against big brother and I'd like to listen into some of the phone calls. As well. Yeah. Now, Mike said Are that. You, I wonder, they talking to each other or no, they're not talking to each other? Well, Mike said they talk every Monday, but they didn't talk this Monday. I understand why. Yeah. So, I hope they don't. I don't. I hope they don't talk this Monday coming in. Yeah. And, you know, Soller and, 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 and Matt LaFleur are close. I think they know each yeah, other. From, like, yeah, they were like yeah. interns yep. back in the day, you know? Yep. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, the only thing that worries me in this game, honestly. Go ahead. It's not Rodgers. It's the okay. run defense. Our run defense? Mm-hmm. Yep. Kevin, the Packers have the worst run defense, even worse than ours. Uh, all right. It's just we we whiff on tackles sometimes, and we let these guys go for yards that shouldn't even be there. Uh, like, I was watching the game against Miami again. Some, of the, some of the tackles in the backfield, we, we had people stop for losses. We just whiffed. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I think that the only thing that's going to keep, and I can't believe I'm saying this, is if Aaron Rodgers is so pissed off of what he heard all this week and wants to prove the point. And who better than a New York team? You know? Who better than you, a New York team? I hope you swallow a whole bunch of mushrooms before you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> before the game. With your new funky haircut, whatever that crap is. So you see, like, defenders floating. And... Yeah. But you want to know something, Kevin? In saying all this, do you have – do you know the history between the Jets versus the Packers? Oh, uh, slightly, yes. I, I mean, whenever I think Jets-Packers, I think of one game. December 29th, 2002. Okay. The one that we needed to win to get in where we beat them 42-17. You got it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you an interesting stat. Because last year the Packers weren't on our schedule, so we couldn't we didn't get a chance to do a breakdown. 
since 1968. All right. Is it 68? Hold on. I'm sorry. Since 1973. Sorry. We played the Packers 13 times. Not a big body of work. Mm -hmm. Nope. But we beat them eight times. We have a winning record against them. Amazing. <laughs> what? And it's not very often we have a winning record. Exactly. Against them. And that's why I'm bringing it up. And Kevin, up until the last three years or the last four or five, whatever it is, we were eight and two against them. The Packers happened to win the last three against us. But we have good numbers against them. We have a winning record against this team. We are eight and five against them. That's 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 impressive for us. Yeah. It really no, it is. It is. No, exactly. Exactly. I mean, there's no reason you shouldn't go up there and win this game. No, agree. Really? Agree. You play like you play in the play. How about you play for three quarters like you play in the fourth quarter? Yeah. Yeah. You'll be unbeatable. Yeah. But I don't even mind. I don't even mind if this is the new Jets. Keep it close for three. Mm. And when these teams are winded and gassed, we got 60% left in the tank. And here it comes. Well, because like I said to you last week, Kevin, we have scored 58 points. In five in the fourth quarter, in five games, a total of fifty-eight points, and have given up twenty points. We well, turn it on in that fourth quarter. You know, it, it and and it makes me think. I was dry. I was out early this morning, like really early. And I was driving around listening to the radio, and they talked about closers. How important it is in the NFL, just like baseball, to have a closer. Okay. A Mahomes, the guy from from uh, the Chargers. Okay, Herbert. Herbert, yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys who, when the, it comes to that fourth quarter, close to a Brady. Yeah. Closers. That's yeah. what you want. Is how important in this league yeah. a closer is. And so, if you can close in the fourth quarter, that's a huge yeah. accomplishment. No, exactly, exactly. Get that lead, and in the last four or five minutes, kill the clock. That's and hopefully, clock. that's perfect. Hopefully, like Mahomes and Herbert and Brady, Wilson becomes a closer. Yes. Now, what I what I don't want this Sunday is that the Jets are so because the Packers don't run. I don't want the Jets to become so focused in these the next three days right. Friday, that they're so focused on the run because they think that's what the Packers are going to do. And the air game lets up and Aaron picks us apart. He does not have great receivers. His receivers have the dropsies. We have to focus as a whole, stopping the run, stopping the pass, stopping everything. Miami had better receivers than they do. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. At least more sure-handed because every time I watch mm -hmm. the Packers, they're dropping everything Aaron is throwing. Gotcha. The most I gotcha. Important thing, Kevin Albrecht, Albrecht did it last week. We saw more of Lawson. We saw more of Myers. We saw more of Quinnen. We even brought in Huff, who may not look pretty or have the numbers, but he does enough where it opens up a hole for it's someone. Disruption, else. man. Just this. It's about disruption. Yeah. Play these four guys, play these four guys, and every once in a while, give them a one a win, bring in a ranking, give a no, bring in, you know, a morning. But mm -hmm. these four guys need to play, and they got to find how to get Huff in a little more because he he clogs things, he demands two men, and that frees things up. I mean, mm -hmm. gotcha. Wilson had his best yep. game probably as a Jet numbers yes. last week, right? Yeah, yes. Don't go back to now sitting on your hands. Go at it now. You found you found a, 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 a something that works. Go, go, and, go. And you and you got a guy in Rogers who is like a Flacco in the pocket. Yeah, you know he's, he's yeah. not going to take off. Or, he's not going to get outside on you. And you no. know, yeah. So, and and he was you a know where up. you know where he's going to be. Yeah, 
and he was banged up after that giant game. Let's go. Let's yeah. not make this Thumb one dimensional. His thumbs it, messed up. Yeah, I mean, I know he practiced full yesterday and full today, but let's not worry so much about the past that we forget the run. Let's do what we do and control everything. And every chance you get, hit his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Every, ch just every chance you get, hit his thumb. Yeah. Just no yeah. stupid penalties because he will right, make yeah, right. it. Play a right. smart game, but play our game. We're, we're, we're starting to become a good team. It's true. Our younger players don't know about ghost of seasons past. So you know what? It's true. Maybe they are turning the page. They don't hear from us old senior citizens with, oh, uh, you know what's going to happen. You know what? This is a new Jet team. But don't believe your press. Don't believe the clippings and go out there and prove it again this week and get I three mean, in a row for us. If you can if you can get to him and sack him and you got him down, somebody accidentally step on his hand. Yeah. Yeah. And and like one of right, our listeners right on, right on the thumb. Yeah. Like we always say to our listeners to correct us when we're wrong. And I wasn't thinking of the numbers real quick, but one of our listeners who I forgot your name, but thank you. I'm gonna give you credit. He's right, Kev. If we win this week and Buffalo loses, we're tied for first. Well, according to him, he says we're in first. Well, that because we would we own the tiebreaker because we beat Miami, they did, and then we beat them. So percentage wise, yes, we would be in first. Yes, I get yeah, it. But but theoretically, you're yeah. in a three way tie. Yeah, well, or, or, we don't know depending Miami, on what Miami does. Miami right. does. Yes. Can you imagine? Division wins count as half games. Demon you know what I'm half. saying? They right. You, you know, it yeah. gives you yeah, that yeah, extra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine me and you coming on in a week from today, tied for first no. or in first at Cause... four and two with two winnable games on the schedule? I'm sorry, dare to dream. If we're turning the page and I'm allowed to talk this way anymore, we're getting rid of the ghost pass, and this is the new New York Jets. So, because we'll get to this later when we do our picks. But I'm saying Buffalo takes a, a loss this week in Kansas City. Yeah. You know what, Kevin? I want the Chiefs. So even if I don't believe it, I'm rooting for the Chiefs <laughs> this weekend. You know? Shoot. Yep. You and me both. Let's go. And, Damn and, and hey, Victory Monday is first place Monday. So if, if – what are we, 1 o'clock, right? 1 o'clock. 45 degrees in Lambeau, great football weather. How nice would it be there, would it be, on Sunday, to sit there at 425, turn on the Chiefs and the Bills, With and, first sit play. Back, and sit back and go, come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be nice. I'll get one of my Cupolinis and put Casey <laughs> on it and just sit there and root. Dare we dream? Dare we oh, dream? Oh man, yeah. This, well, hey man, that's that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's and you know what, Kevin? About. We should be excited at least we, so many at years. Least for once, like yes. you were just gonna say, we can dream. Yeah, you know, for so many years, or for so many, and for so many episodes that we've been doing this. We've come on here and we were down as yeah. how many times we were with. What are we last year? What was it? One and four? We were one and four or, or yeah. whatever we were. Yeah. But how, how many? How the hell? Did, who's going to watch? Oh, I wouldn't yeah. expect you guys to watch. No, exactly. Watch. <laughs> yeah. And how many times, Kevin, have we used the expression, just don't shit the bed? Don't just make don't it shit worse. the bed. But you know what? Now, now we're seeing a team that's gelling, it's playing well. This is the second quarter of the season. Now, the next four games, now it's time. Build that brick wall, brick by brick by brick by brick. And this and I, is another layer to that wall. If we go to Lambeau and we beat the Packers, and I don't care all the naysayers out there say, well, this isn't the Packers of five, six years ago. Hey, play who's on your schedule, correct? We've always said that, but now it changes because we're winning games. Hopefully this isn't the Jets of five or six years ago, too. Yeah. So. yeah. That know? works both it works both ways. It's true. But like Sauce said, I wasn't here for those 12 division losses. Like Zach mm -hmm. said, I wasn't here for six of those division losses. Yep. 
These guys uh, kudos, don't know it. Kudos to Sauce for the rookie of the yeah. week again. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, that Brees Hall Michael Carter one-two punch baboom. For Listen, that like I said last week, he's becoming my favorite player. Yeah. Yeah. Brees Hall. Yeah. And you know what, Kevin? We don't know what this season is going to bring. But what we do know, that this young rookie class and last year's rookie class is exciting. So far, three rookies of the week. Yeah. Yeah. This rookie class and last year. Two year's offense, rookie. one defense. Yeah. They're exciting, Kevin. For mm -hmm. once, we're starting to watch guys. Like, I remember saying to you, when are we going to get that guy that everyone's talking about, you know? All you keep hearing, the other team, the other team. But now I turn on Good Morning Football, and Brees Hall is featured all this week. He was Pete Schrager's second best rookie this week. We had two Jets on Peter Schrager's top five rookies. We had Quinn and Williams win the angry runs. The How angry runs. That? Oh. <laughs> How about that? A Jet D lineman running the angry run. Unanimously, the whole panel loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did I. That was like I of told course. you last week. That was that was one of my favorite plays, if of not if, if not my favorite. And as the older Jet fan that we are, even though we don't look it, <laughs> maybe it's time to listen to our youngers and say we're turning the page. It's forget what we know, forget what we knew. It's time. Your mouth to God's ears. I know. I know. And I'm probably going to hate myself in 48 hours when we come on here again. But you know. Feel like what? And say, what the hell was I saying? No, exactly. But let me ask you, Kevin. When was the last time you watched the Jets on offense and saw a plethora? Yes. New word. A plethora of plethora. Jet players you like. You I like. I like plethora. That's Thank a you. good word. Thank you. Like, I watch the offense, and I'm thinking, what's AVT doing? What's Brown doing? What's uh, Hall doing? What's Conklin doing? What's Uzama doing? I don't know who to watch anymore. I'm excited about everything they put out there. And then you look on the defensive side, and now Quinnen's coming into his own. Quan is – show him the Quan. Pay – you know what? If he wants to play next year, pay the man because he could hit like a truck. Gardner and Reed and Whitehead and he, hit, he hits he like Lot Alexander. Yeah. He, he hits yeah. like, like Lot. Kevin and I'm sorry to keep coming up. The excitement of even Michael Carter the second, who I know we kill sometimes. At least when he gets beat, Kevin, he's draped on the man. Like the man can't do right. anything else. It's, it's just an amazing. It's just an amazing yeah. throw. Catch right. Yeah, it's not like he's getting beat 10 yards down the field. He's wearing the guy like a shirt, and the guy just happens to make these catches, but he's even playing well. I don't, I mean, I watch everything now going, yeah, oh, 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 you know? Let's hope, let's hope we have that feeling Sunday when we're sitting there. No, I, I know, Kevin, but for now, you know what? Oh, let's I'm enjoying Listen, I'm loving yeah. it. I'm loving it, man. But no. you know, yeah. That Jets man still creeps up in me. No, so, I get it because uh, we're, we're the older statesmen, and that's why I said maybe it's time for us old fogies to listen to our younger Jet fans who only been rooting for 10, 15, and 20 years instead of guys like me and you who have 40 years and over in the books. A, a, a freaking misery, right. Yeah. Yeah. This team is now exciting to watch. I don't sit there anymore. No, 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 How, no, no. Now I'm now my even I don't my sit there like that anymore. Yeah. Now my perspective is changed because now I look and I say, how are we gonna win this instead of how are we gonna blow this? How are we gonna shit the bed and give up a win? Now I'm looking to see, all right, what are we gonna do now to get back? They yep. scored seven, what are we gonna do? They scored three, what are we gonna do? I agree. Not all oh, the other right. teams scored seven. Please don't get a Tony. Or, please don't get a pick six. Now it's like, all right, they done something. Let's show them what we can do. Mm -hmm. Completely agree. I'm sorry, Jeff fans. This is, I know it's only three and two, 
But this is an exciting time. This team is finally, fin finally look like they're showing the growth, taking those steps. The training wheels are off. Well, like Parcells always said, you are what your record says you are. Right now, the record says you got a winning record. So That's right. That's right. That's right. And go into Lambo and win this game. I don't care if it's 20 to 17. Walk out of there with the dub. We'll be four and two. And now everyone's going to have their eyes open. Everyone, not just the New York press and the everyone's now going to take mm -hmm. notice. Mm -hmm. And now, and now this, here's where, here's where the, the play turns. Because if we win and we're four and two, now everyone's going to say, well, now the Jets have two winnable games on the schedule. Denver and New England look winnable games where seven weeks ago, even us didn't know if those were winnable games. Yeah, right. Especially Denver, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. And yes, I understand we shouldn't jump the gun with the Jets, but you know what? Get this win on Sunday and, you know, that, that ladder, we're rising, we're coming. Ooh. What one game at a time? Yeah, one game every, at a time. Yeah, every game a new season. Don't worry. Let's and I hope the Jets know that. I hope the coaching staff know that. Forget the five weeks, the first five weeks. They're done. One game season. Pack is finished. One and zero. Let's hope that Rogers has a day like Favre had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which exactly. I have some of those numbers in front of me. Go, go. Yeah, let them know. Favre was 16 for 33. Wow. For 170, 172 yards, one touchdown, and one INT. Wow. Wow. Chad Pennington was 17 for 24, 196 yards, four touchdowns. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into Lambo. And I, I, I know there's some Jeff fans making that trip, so it's not going to be total mm -hmm. loss, but let's do this. I'm yep. ready. Four and two. Here we come. Three let's game go. winning streak. Here we come. We let's talk go. a lot of negative about this team. Now it's okay. Let's start talking the positive. Let's start yeah. riding this wave. Let's start riding this wave. Hey. My season's not going to be over by Halloween. I'm ecstatic. No, exactly. <laughs> and, Kevin, if things go the way we're scripting them, you and I here, with beating the Packers and then maybe taking the next two, we're going into Buffalo with first place really on the line. I'd even take a split. If, if we could get two out of these three, I'd take that. You're better than I am because at this point I – I can't, if you we, want it all. You well, want it all. I only want it all because if we beat Green Bay, I do not want to go up to Denver and wet the bed. And I don't want New England coming to us because I think they come to us that first game and shit ourselves. Honestly, I think if, if I had to pick a game out of those three that we might okay. lose, it's okay. Sunday. This Sunday. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, you might be right. I think the other two, frankly, when I think, I think when New England comes in here, uh -huh. we're gonna kick the snot. Out. I I think we're gonna kick the snot out of them. Yeah. I really, I really do. I really do. I think we're gonna remember those forty-five to threes. We're gonna remember the butt fumbles. We're gonna remember him when the game was over. Belichick. Punching it in again yeah. and again yeah. and again and again. Yeah. I would I, I would remember all of that. Oh, I agree. I agree. And you know what? He's probably <laughs> he's probably gonna start the third string. And we always worry about these third strings. Well, let's go in there and punch this third string in the mouth. Throw don't him let him around, do, throw him around yeah. like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah, don't let him do to us what he did to Detroit. Go in there on our territory and slap him in the mouth. But we'll talk about that in a few weeks, right. and I'm hoping, exactly. I'm hoping for that weekend before the game, we have two very special guests we're trying to get on who are Patriot mm -hmm. fans, and it should be fun. So I'm, I'm going to reach out and get that done. But, Kev, that's it for me. I'm ready to do yeah. predictions if you are for week six. Let's go!
before, but let, let's give everybody the update. So in week five, you won 11 games to my nine. And now the lead, you might already clinched it. Like I might, you know how we say we hope to watch football in November? Well, you might have already won this in early in October because after five weeks, I trail you by eight games. Get the hell out of here. Yep. You are beating me 44 to 36. Wow. But I have a game plan, Kev. And my <laughs> game plan is all I need to do is take one a week for the next eight weeks. Steal and then one in the of final the quarter, right. when you're all drained, right. and I'm only at, I still have 60% to go. <laughs> You'll you'll feel you'll put big deep and pull out that sixty percent. <laughs> exactly. When all you right. have used up all your powers uh, uh, of of picking winners, I'll still have sixty percent left in the tank. The evil genius that I am, and I will retain my first and ten cup. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on, let's go. Let's All rock right. and roll. I, I hope I hope I didn't give you bulletin board material now and you kick my butt this week. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Let's go. First, first game on the docket, San Francisco. In the game, in the go. league, where they play for pay. Let's go. Let me ask you real quick, before you make that pick, what did you think? I didn't get a chance to ask you. What did you think of those two bad roughing the court passer? Uh, oh, jeez, that, that took the game away from Atlanta. You know, that I was... saw I saw a meme somewhere that uh -huh. says, "From now on, you must lay a pillow down before yeah. you sack the quarterback." Yeah, <laughs> and you for know him what... to land on. And you know what kills me, Kevin? I think the two plays that they called, in my opinion, were as clean as clean can be. Especially okay. the Chiefs guy. I forgot his name. He he did Jones. everything to perfection. Jones. Yeah. He did yeah. everything to perfection. He even gently put him down while holding the ball and coddling him with the other hand. Good now, job. that team didn't come back to bite them. But the Atlanta team got bit in the butt for it. And then where was where was the uh, the person of foul when Brady kicked the guy afterwards? Oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't, he doesn't get those. No, that they don't see. No. But they took this game away from Atlanta. And the only reason why I, I, I brought this all up, because it's a, a cold that hurts this league, because they coddle, coddle, coddle. Mm -hmm. But is Atlanta furious now? Are they pissed? Can they beat San Francisco in their building? One o'clock this Sunday, week six? Who do you got? 49ers. <laughs> okay. If I wasn't trailing you by eight points, <laughs> I would say Atlanta, but I'm going to stay with you and go San Francisco as well. Okay. New England at Cleveland. You know, I thought about this game. I was looking at this game before. That's a tough one. But I I'm going to take I'm going to take the Browns. You are. Yep. And I'm with you. I'm with you. Jets Green Bay are put us both down for the Jets, right? Yeah, hell, let's ride the wave, baby. Right. That green wave. Here we that's come. right. That's right. Jacksonville at Indianapolis. One o'clock. Jacksonville at Indianapolis. Give me the Colts. You're taking the Colts. All right. I am taking Jacksonville. I think they get off the schneid. Trevor Lawrence finds his mojo. Because, right, the, 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 um, I believe they lost the last two Jacksonville. I think they get off the schneid this week. They beat the Colts. I'm taking, the, I'm taking Jacksonville. Okay. I'll take, Matty, the, I'll take Matty Ice at home. There you go. He had 10 days off, right, because they played last Thursday? Mm -hmm. Damn, I wish I would have remembered that when I made my pick. <laughs> <laughs> This game, I keep flipping and flopping, and I might flip and flop until the last second. Minnesota going up to my going down to Miami. Tough one. Give me the Vikings. Yeah. You know what, Kevin? I'm you only know, taking. You know what? 
I'm sick of Miami. Give me well, the Vikings. I'm only taking the Vikings, and I know this sounds ridiculous because I don't want a team in our division to ever win a game if it's not us. I, I'm just God. afraid that Minnesota is going to do Minnesota things. Yeah, They're I know. Go where it's hot, and Kirk Cousins is going to throw like three interceptions or – Something like that, and Miami will get off the schneid. And but I've decided that for the rest of the year, I'm picking against Miami. All right. Well, for this week, I'm with you, and I'm taking Minnesota. I'm because taking Minnesota as well. It used to be the Patriots that I despised and hated their guts. Yeah. Now it's the dog. Now it's the dog. Well, it seems most Jet fans agree with you. Why is that? Is it because the fan base does so much yapping for a fan base that's one nothing? That that's one nothing. Okay. Okay. I'm just curious why. Shut up. Next game. Go go away. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Next game in the one o'clock hour Cincinnati going to New Orleans. Mm, I thought about that one too. But I'm going to say, give me the Saints. Really? So we disagree on that. Okay. Let me put you down for the Saints. That's our second game that we disagree. So you're taking it. You got you got the Bengals. Got I got the Bengals. You have the Saints. Let's go. Baltimore traveling back to New York to MetLife to play the New York Giants, the G-Men on the Dayball in Martindale. As much as I, I, I I'm happy for the Giants and everything. Give me the Ravens. Really? Yep. Wow. And I'm going to take the Giants. I I, I think at home, uh, I, I, the D-line coach, proud, I, I don't know if he left on great terms in Baltimore. I think he knows everything about Lamar. I think the Giants' D plays a top game, and they get this one. So I'm taking the G-men of New York. See, now I'm taking a different take, and I'm saying Lamar runs all over. All right, well, let's see. Hey, Kevin, if you the games right now we disagree on three. If you win those three, we might have to give you the trophy <laughs> and then just start a season two. So there's some respectability going down the half because this could be over with by Halloween. Oh, shit. Anyway, Tampa Bay at Pittsburgh. Give me Tampa Bay. I'm not wasting another second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Carolina going to the Rams. Give me the Rams. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Now, let me ask you, maybe not this week, but the firing of Matt Rule and the other coach, I think it was the the offense, I don't know if it was the offensive, does this pump up Carolina and we get a better Carolina down the stretch, or is this team I don't know. Who's playing quarterback? I think Mayfield. I think he's still playing. Last I heard, he was was in like a boot or something. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be ready. Arizona at Seattle. Who do you have? At Seattle, 12th man. Give Sunday. me Gino, Gino. Yep, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. And we already said we both like the Chiefs, so that's the route we're taking. Yes. And this eight twenty game is going to be something, Kev. They're already talking bulletin board material. Dallas going to Philly. Who do you have? Good game. Good game. Let's now hope we can. Need- let's hope we can sit and watch that game. And, like, really enjoy it. Yeah. Now, are you buying into the fact that I heard some people say Philly really hasn't played anyone in this five-game winning streak and this will be their first test against Dallas? Or is Philly for real? Tough one. Now, we can't sit here and say you play who's on your schedule, right, when it's the Jets, but say, oh, Philly's – I don't think – I listen, you play who's on your schedule. If other people want to say, oh, they really have them played anyway, any given Sunday. That's Philly at home, I think think Cooper goes down this week. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm taking the Eagles on this one as well. I'm taking the Eagles on this one as well. Yep. (laughs) Now, before we do the the Monday night game, just so people know – this is during the first week of bye weeks. So teams will have bye weeks. And this week, Detroit, Tennessee, Vegas, and Houston is on a bye. So that's, this week now starts all the bye weeks. Yep. And um, for the Monday night game, you got Denver going to the Chargers, and I'm taking the Chargers. I'm how, taking could you the not, how could you not? Yeah. 
Yeah. How could you not? Yep. Denver has shown us zero. Yep. 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 So, Kevin, we have three games that we're different on. If I could just get those three games and bring it back to five, but if you get them, we're looking at double digits, and I don't know. We and might I get a – back I'm sensing like you're taking two out of three. Okay. That that all right. That gives me a one game. I brings me down to seven. Like I said, if I could take one game a week for the next eight weeks, and then when you're wiped and drained and I still have 60% left in the tank in the final quarter, I'm ready. I'm bringing it. Uh, hey, we'll see. We'll Don't see. Forget, Kevin, if you remember last year, I started off hot. And you right. got yes. really going, and then I had to hold you up. I had to put up the defense, keep you out, and I and I broke away in the final couple of weeks. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping mm -hmm. this year that you got off to the hot start. And well, that's why I got to get this lead because I know I, you're <laughs> very possible you could come back on me. So that was possible. But, but if you get it to double digits, it's going to be hard. I'm admitting it now. It's going to be hard, but mm -hmm. I have the fight in me. All That's right, it yeah. for me, brother. Me too. That was another good one. Another good get, one. Get us to Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And, All right, uh, my brother. You be good. You enjoy the weekend. You too. And I'll be uh, messaging you during the game. Oh, yes. Yes. As yes. usual. Trying to keep myself contained. I hear you. I hear you. All right, you guys. You have a great weekend. Enjoy the college football tomorrow. Some good games tomorrow, mm -hmm. too. And, uh, hey, man, all comes down to Sunday, 1 o'clock, Lambeau Field. Yep, yep. All right. All right. We'll talk we'll, then. We'll talk then. We'll talk to you guys after the game, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I believe so. I might have to okay. do Monday, but we'll talk. Okay. All right. Until then, enjoy the weekend. And get up! We'll talk to you later.